Hi there, this is Ranjit and uh, welcome to the relaunch of uh, Geeky Ranjit Explains. And if you don't know what is Geeky Ranjit Explains, I had actually started a channel in 2013 where I used to explain some technical stuff in an easy to, uh, what do you say, understand matter. And But I got so busy with this existing channel that is known as Geeky Ranjit, I just stopped uh, posting there. But uh, till date, I used to get a lot of emails regarding Geeky Ranjit Explains and uh, you guys were asking me to relaunch it. So I'm just relaunching it now and I plan to make this a weekly series. Every Thursday, I plan to uh, post a new episode for this Geeky Ranjit Explains. And for this week, I want to talk about uh, autofocusing systems and uh, what are the different types of uh, autofocusing systems that we have. And specifically, we'll be talking about uh, uh, PDAF and contrast detect autofocusing system because these are the most popular ones. There are others like hybrid autofocusing systems and even laser autofocusing system. But to make it simple, uh, let's just stick to what do you say contrast detect and phase detect autofocusing system. And first let's talk about contrast detect autofocusing system. But before that, what is autofocusing system? If you have any time use a camera or even a smartphone, uh, you like very sharp pictures. If the pictures come out blurry, it's not great. And autofocusing helps in that. With a good autofocusing system, uh, you should get sharp pictures. And that's what autofocusing does. And there are a lot of ways to uh, go about it. Uh, first, let's talk about the contrast uh, detect autofocusing system because this has been uh, uh, popular and if you have used uh, older DSLRs and many of the older smartphones actually uh, use the contrast detect autofocusing system and it relies on the contrast to get the best sharpest picture possible. And it's not very easy to do that. So what it does is uh, it detects a sharp point. The sensor detects a sharp point, but it's not very sure if this is the sharpest picture. So what it essentially does is I have a lot of, lot of camera lens caps. So I'll use it. So it hunts for that. So let's say this is the sharpest point it found. So what it will do is instead of taking this, uh, it will also take a snapshot It'll just move the lens a little bit more and take it further and also backwards and it'll compare if this is the sharpest. If this is the sharpest, it uh, determines that this is the sharpest point. So this will be your autofocus point. But as you can uh, see, this takes time because it's sort of hunting for focus and comparing. So this can take a lot of time. In static pictures, it's fine. So many of the older DSLRs actually relied on this contrast detect auto uh, focusing system. And for static pictures, it was fine because with the normal DSLR, if you just pick it up and even if it takes a half a second to focus, for example, let me try to do that. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can uh, make out uh, the sound, uh, but this is a pretty old DSLR and uh, it is actually sort of hunting for focus right now because this one is having contrast detect autofocus system. And in fact, if you have seen some of my older videos where I was using this, this is the Canon 550D. Uh, many of you guys used to complain that the autofocus was not that great. And again, if uh, even modern DSLRs, apart from a few, most of them still rely on contrast detect. Hence, with video, uh, when you move the subject around, if the stu subject is static, then it's fine. But when you start moving the subject, then the autofocusing can be difficult, especially if it's contrast, dis uh, contrast detect, because it's actually going to hunt when it changes the autofocusing point because it has to uh, evaluate it. So that can take a lot of time. So that was contrast detect autofocusing system. And many of the smartphones earlier and even most of the DSLRs were using this contrast detect autofocusing system. And for static pictures, it's good enough, I would say. But for video, it's not the ideal uh, solution if the subject is sort of moving. Now let's move to PDAF. Again, if you look at your modern smartphone and uh, see the smart, uh, what do you say, focusing system, it might say PDAF. Uh, that means it is employing phase detect autofocusing system. So what does that mean? Uh, in phase detect autofocusing system, it splits the image into two. For example, let me give you a very crude example. Uh, let's say this is your image. It's a straight line. So if th this is a straight line, that means the camera is in focus. Now let me do one thing. Let me tear this page and face detect autofocusing system does this. It splits the image into two parts. The special sensor uh, does that. And now the page is split into two parts, as you can see. And what it will do is, uh, again, autofocusing systems, I, as I told you, uh, camera lens has many elements. The elements in the lens actually move forward or just rotate a little bit to get the focus. And what it will do is, in phase detect autofocusing system, as it has split the image into two parts, it's going to try to just move it and align. When it's aligned, 
that means the uh, picture is in focus so this is a lot faster as you can see it has to just align that so that way face detect auto focusing system works a lot faster than contrast detect auto focusing uh, system and again it doesn't have to do that hunting and comparison that is being done with the contrast detect auto focusing system uh, but again uh, for this face detect auto focusing system to work uh, you need special what do you say pixels on your sensor and with most of the camera sensors that employ face detect auto focusing system just about five percent of the sensors are dedicated to face detect auto focusing uh, system uh, but again we also have uh, what do you say uh, dual pixel uh, hybrid uh, uh, auto focusing system in the dual pixel uh, most of the sensors act as a normal sensor as well as face detect uh, for example canon again and i harp about this the canon with the 70d introduced the dual pixel auto focusing system with their dslrs again i'm shooting this uh, actually with the canon 70d and the 80d both of them have dual pixel auto focusing system so even in video i'm shooting the video with this canon 80d and the 70d and there is no cameraman i'm shooting this alone what i'll do is i'll be moving around as you can see even if i move around it my face is in sharp focus and that is due to the face detect auto focusing system specifically the dual pixels and uh, again a lot of smartphones these days modern smartphones at least the high ends are employing face detect auto focusing system and again with the samsung galaxy s7 that employs uh, what do you say dual pixel auto focusing system and according to samsung almost 100 percent of the pixels are uh, those uh, dual uh, pixel type on the canon dslrs if i recall 70 percent of the pixels are uh, hybrid uh, what do dual, dual pixel type uh, so that was the face detect auto focusing system it's um, f much more superior and faster technology uh, but again uh, only a limited amount of what do you say pixels are uh, what do you say face detect uh, on a normal uh, sensor and again i would say the face detect auto focusing system uh, the real benefit you would see uh, if you are shooting video because in video the subject can move around and that way in those scenarios if you're using older contrast detect uh, for example if your old dslr has that it's got a constant hunt for uh, what do you say focusing so that's the uh, issue for example let me see if the camera can pick up this is my old uh, uh, canon uh, dslr and as you can see it's i don't know if the microphone is able to capture it it's constantly the lens is trying to focus and it's a ha having a hard time when i am actually moving my hand and this would not happen if uh, we had a camera like the 80D or the 70D, uh, which is uh, for focusing uh, specifically, that will be using the face detect auto focusing system. So I hope uh, you guys have a better idea now regarding face detect auto focusing system and the contrast detect auto focusing system. As I have mentioned, uh, there are other uh, types of auto focusing system also, like uh, what do you say, hybrid and also laser auto focusing system. If you guys uh, would like to know more about that, I can make a different video next week about those topics. And again, uh, do let me know what are the other topics that you would like me to uh, address in this Geeky Explained uh, series. And again, guys, if you like the series, hit that uh, thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. Again, remember, I'll be posting a new video on this Geeky Indeed series uh, every uh, Thursday on my YouTube channel. So guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.